Hello and welcome back to Lawrence Plays uh, GTA 5 Manhunt. We're doing a slightly different game mode today. We've got a few more players in, so we thought we'd try something slightly different. Where instead of it just being um, me versus the hunters with their uh, them using their uh, radar to navigate and me blind as I am at the moment, we're going to try having a, a, a controller instead. So there's one of the hunters will just stay still and not move, uh, but he then gets to direct the other hunters around and and then help them try and find me. Where on earth am I going? Uh, so this will hopefully be a little bit different. It'll make it it'll make it a little bit harder for them, which I think is fair enough, given that they outnumber me about four to one. And so we're yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. The basic rules are going to be more or less the same though. I've got my radar turned off, as you can see, so I can't tell where they are. They were all going to have their radars turned off as well, so they're going to be blind blind to me. Um, there's no names over players either, so we can't use that to spot pe spot people. And we're restricting it to sort of normal cars, so no custom vehicles, and normal uh, and single-shot bullet weapons. So basically, just pistols and potentially shotguns and sniper rifles if they if they ever get out of their cars. But I don't really expect them to. So they're starting at the um, fairground. So I'm actually not going in the best of directions. I should probably turn around and try and get onto the um, the freeway here and head. Ooh, can I get up there? I don't know. Let's try this. Let's try going this way and try and head sort of south from here. Now, one of the problems I have is I don't know the map very well. So I'm trying to, at the moment, I'm just trying to cover a bit of distance, get me away from where they where they start off, and see if I can hopefully get, my, get myself, <laughs> get myself a bit, buy myself a bit of time just by hooning down this way. Um, where am I going? Is this, oh, this is the, this towards the airport? I don't know. So my, yeah, Fortunately, none of oh, none of us know the map very well, and I think none of us can drive very well. <laughs> so it should be reasonably even, reasonably fair. And we're gonna, but we'll give we'll give it a shot. See how it goes. As with the other modes, the the, sort of the point of this is that because I don't know where they are, and how how close they are behind me, when they're sneaking up on me, that sort of thing, it's supposed to be quite tense and scary and. Yeah, I, I get sort of more and more paranoid as the game goes on, waiting waiting just for that sort of rattle of gunfire behind me, or to have a car fly into me and try and try and force me off the road. So at the moment, oh, this is going over towards the docks, I think. Um, I do have a map open on another screen, so it's it's not a live map, so I don't know where I am, and obviously I have no idea where they are. But based on having a little bit of knowledge of the of the layout of the city and where things are and, and so on, plus having a a, uh, a picture of the map up. I have a vague idea of where I'm going, which will hopefully stop me from driving into any horrendous dead ends. Now, it does occur to me the thing I'm doing wrong at the moment is I'm just driving more or less in a straight line. I'm following the in that I'm following the freeways, so that's going to make it relatively easy for them to predict where I'm going, and that's probably unwise because if they can predict where I'm going, then it's going to make it a lot easier for them to um, to try and set up an ambush for me. So I need to start thinking about changing direction from time to time. That said, being on the main roads is quite nice because I can go fast, I can cover a lot of distance, and it makes it harder for them to catch up. And it also makes means I'm a bit less likely to crash into something. Um, so there's an advantage from that point of view. Oh, I hear shooting. They're obviously close to me. That's bad. <laughs> okay, so as I said, the um, staying on the highway for too long probably meant they predicted where I was going and managed to set up a bit of an ambush for me. Um, I'm going to try and put some distance down fairly quickly like this. Hopefully I've got a faster car, but we'll, we'll see. And then I need to start changing direction and getting onto different roads. Uh, like, let's go this way here, for example. Uh, with as little crashing as possible. Right, I don't see anyone behind me. That's a good sign. Um, so... I mean, I can't. I can't really sneak. It isn't one. It isn't one of those games where if I go slowly and carefully, I can. Um, I can hide from them, and they won't. And they won't be able to fo follow me. Um, because they've got the controller directing where to go. But if I do things like that when they can't see me, hopefully that'll throw them off a bit and confuse them. Oh, I'm in the airport. That wasn't. Isn't a good idea because there's no only one way in and out. Um, pretty much. Um, yeah. What was I saying? So. Yeah, because they don't have they don't have their own radar. They're relying on the controller to tell them where to go. Me jumping off um, bridges and things like that is probably quite a good way of at least evading them for a minute or two. 
Uh, where am I now? I'm in the docks. Okay, this is actually a different way out. That's that's probably a good thing. Um, I f feel like I've got a way. I don't see any any other good cars around, and they've had a sort of choice of basically anything that's free spawning. So they're all probably going to be in at least high-end sports cars like I am. So it should be reasonably fair from that point of view. So, um, but that also means they'll be able to keep up with me. Um, but it also, on the flip side, it means that if I see if I if I see that I'm surrounded by terrible vehicles, I'm probably safe. There's nothing to stop them turning up in a in a load of futos. That that is perfectly a perfectly legitimate tactic if they want to. And in the same way, there's nothing stopping me switching into uh, something terrible either, like this Plymouth that I'm about to go past. Um, but that seems like probably not not a good tactic uh, from their point of view because they wouldn't be able to catch catch ups to keep up with me. Uh, from my point of view, because I wouldn't be able to get away from them. <clears throat> and so it's yeah, it's probably going to be better to try and try and stick with decent vehicles as much as possible. <laughs> As I said, not trying to blend in, so there's the. Uh, there isn't that aspect of it. Going in the tunnel is yeah. This this sort of area is probably quite a good one to drive around because there's there's so many different roads going at different heights and different directions that it's probably going to be trickier for the um, for the controller to work out exactly where I am. That said, I'm now back out of the whole tunnel system again and into the open, so there. Oh no, tree. That's not good. Um, yes, yeah, so they're going to have a bit, bit more of an idea. Uh, so far, safe-ish. Uh, they've spotted me once. We know, we know that because we heard the gunfire. But other than that, things have been reasonably quiet so far. I managed to get away somehow. I'm just through sort of driving fast and a little bit of luck, I think mostly. <laughs> uh, let's go on the railway lines. So That'll Oh, these more or less follow the road anyway, so it's not going to be so much of a, a great escape. I don't really want to go into the actual railway tunnels, because that feels a bit a bit too cheap and a bit too um, much of a... Not cheating, because uh, we haven't said it's not allowed, but it feels like it's just not going to make the game particularly fun. So, But, I can, I'm, but going around here like this is absolutely fine, I think. Because I'm still above ground. I'm not quite sure where I am. Oh, this is going back out into the industrial area again. Okay, that's that's legitimate. I don't... Yeah, I can go, definitely go down here. So, as I've said in previous episodes, I mostly try to stick to the uh, to the city areas. And that's because... Partly because it, it sort of keeps the game area a bit more compact. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Let's not go this way. Um, yeah, so I mostly try and stick to the city areas because I feel it's going to give... Um, the game make the game slight keep the game slightly more interesting because the roads are more interesting around here. It's not just endless hooning down a um, a long straight motorway right, as, as it can be around the edge of the island. So I think it's it's generally going to keep keep the game a bit more interesting if I'm around here. Um, and and yeah, it just it it feels like a sort of a reasonably sensible restriction to give myself. That said, if I drift a little bit outside the city, it doesn't it doesn't matter. That the car's going quite quickly. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe it's. That one's definitely going far too quickly. <laughs> that must be a hunter. <laughs> I don't think the AI ever drive that at that sort of speed. So yeah, I'm um, back into fleeing mode now, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but of co Ooh, no, I can't go in there. That's not a, a way. This bridge, however, is probably a sensible way to go. Uh, I don't see anyone behind me. I'm. Yeah, absolutely convinced that was a hunter. I, I don't think AI cars ever drive anything like as fast as that. <laughs> What's down here? I don't know where I'm going. Like I said, I don't know the map as well as I would like to. But then that's one of the one of the things about playing this these these game modes is it gives me an opportunity to learn it a bit and get and familiarise myself with it, which is I think probably a good thing for playing the game generally, um, and certainly for playing these sort of private um, house rule type games as well. So I do want to have a bit more of an idea about where where things are on the, on the map. Um, I do find I found on a lot of the previous episodes and some of the practice runs we've been doing that I tend to spend all of my time up in Vinewood. Um, that's just up here, up these hills. Often just hurtling back and forth from east to west across the um, 
across the long straight roads up here. I have a bad feeling about that car, but it doesn't seem to be chasing me. That one might be. Yeah, that one's definitely chasing me. Okay, the, uh, <laughs> the chase is on again. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> I say don't. Of course they're going to. Um, now, yeah, the um, the biggest sort of danger in this game is that I'm going to get my tyres shot out. If the t um, or possibly my head shot out. The um, the tyres getting shot are a close second in danger, to be honest. Um, because as soon as you lose a tyre, the car comes, well, not completely undrivable, because it does still have a decent amount of power, but it doesn't handle properly. You start to have issues. Let's go this way. Oh, ow, <laughs> fail. Um, yeah, if you you start to have issues with um, with handling and and cornering and just generally the the car the car often tends to just let go whenever you go around a corner and end up spinning. So having a um, a tire shot out is often the first step of being caught, just because then you can't you can't stay away well enough anymore. I wonder if that jump off the bridge has um, got has has, has uh, got me my freedom at least for now. I sort of would like to change cars because I am gradually beating this one up due to entirely due to bad driving and, and occasional bullet holes, admittedly. Um, so this one is oh, oh one's on a motorbike. That's interesting <clears throat> and brave. Oh, that's another tree. I need to stop hitting trees. So the motorbike is an interesting, interesting call there because it obviously makes him rather vulnerable, but that doesn't matter as much for a hunter. Because they don't tend to be, oh, they don't tend to be being shot or hunted as much. You don't mind my saying so. um, a little foolish. Anyway, and bikes are, of course, very, very fast like right and very now. quick to accelerate. And I think in this game, I think the bikes also tend to corner rather well, which is um, a bit unrealistic. But never mind. I don't like them myself because I tend to find they're a bit unstable. I, when, whenever I try and accelerate hard, I always seem to end up pulling such a wheelie I risk falling off, and I'm a bit. I'm not very subtle with the accelerator, so they, they, they don't work great for me, but they could potentially be a bit of a danger to me as the, uh, as the, as the prey. Um, oh, what was that? I mean, it, yes, it's, oh, that sounded like, yeah, that's a tyre gone. Oh, okay, now I'm in trouble. It's always this set. Oh, they got me. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was quite a good run, though. I think um, I feel like I did did reasonably well. I managed to escape for a, at least a little while. <laughs> Turns out I kept my freedom for 12 minutes 45, which it isn't a new record, but I'm still pleased with it since there were more hunters to contend with this time. Speaking of the hunters, I've also got some footage from Paul's point of view with the hunter chat in the background. Let's watch them try to get going. Right, let's go. Let's come out of the car park and all turn right. Someone is. <laughs> okay, off we go. <laughs> If you, if you keep attacking each other, this is going to make life very hard for everyone. No, no, it's no, the, no, no, the, that's the, not. Okay, um, the out. guy who I stole the car from just stole it back from me. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, I'm yeah. direction. Where out. are you guys? Okay, um, so Paul, turn left. Oh, there. Uh, the other two turn left out of the car park. Lawrence is on the highway at the moment. Paul, turn left at the end there. Um, and join the highway. Other guys, turn left. Left. We went right. Yep, no worries. Okay, take next left. Uh, Paul, proceed along and then turn left to get the highway and then come back down from the way. Guys, turn left. Uh, I don't know where the highway junction uh, is. And immediately left. Ah, uh, you've just got... That's fine. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Paul, keep going straight. Okay, Paul, I advise you to reduce speed. He's on the other side of the highway, 500 metres in front of you. Am I on top of him now? Uh, you are 100 metres ahead of him. Ahead of him. Yep, you've just encountered him. He's just gone past you now. Shit, I've still got. I'm right top. Young's gun, great guns, as fast as you can. Which track him again? Uh, ah, so he's come off the highway. Uh, everyone, come off the highway as quickly as possible. I don't know where I'm going, dude. Paul, turn I'm right. Behind Young's. Uh, and straight forward, Paul. You mind him? Follow Young's. No worries. Okay. So uh, Young's. Yes. And Buck, turn. Sorry, turn around. And go the other way. He's. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that actually might work really well. So, if you, yeah, hard 180. He's going so, going into the airport. So, Paul, uh, keep left. Keep left. Okay. Keep left here, which will take you down a smaller road. Um, 
booked. He is below you to the left, going down there. So if you can set up an overwatch position there, that might be helpful. Uh, Yuns, if you can go back to where you, you're going right now. What? Oh, uh, sorry, Paul, uh, book, keep going forwards. Uh, book, keep going forwards. If you can get down to your left, do so. He's coming down. So at the bottom of that ramp, turn right, and he will cross in front of you. Uh, book straight forward as fast as you can. So, Paul, you're almost on top of him. Um, turn next right, Paul. And then Lawrence is at the end and has just turned right. As fast as you can, Buck. Uh, I am, I am. Good man, good man. Okay, Yuns. Um, so you want to head in back in towards the city centre. So the opposite way from that. Paul, you are... Ooh, you just had an accident, that's unfortunate. Okay, bear right, Yuns. Right. And then... Yeah, keep, going, keep going straight now, keep going straight, that is good. And then... So he's keeping going straight, he's about to pass in front of you. Next to him, he passes in front of you, so turn left there. Left You're there. Right yep. Okay, where's... Me. Uh, Buck, can you... Buck. Do, 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 do. Turn right there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just end. Head down this road as fast as you can. Uh, straight over, guys, straight over. It's a small road, but he's on I it. I don't know. I'm, I'm in a dead end. You need to turn left or right. <laughs> Uh, there is a, uh, on the map at least, there's a little passageway straight over that you can uh, go down. There's a train line. Yeah, follow the train line. He's on the train line. Ah, right, okay. He's in an area where there's only two ways out. So follow the train line and then come left off it. Uh, you'll have uh, to be a really can. specific way here. Okay. Uh, now he's back on the road. You are 100 meters behind him. him. You can see him. Okay, uh, can yeah. you pursue? Uh, at least I can okay, see him. Okay, uh, block. Keep going forwards. Yep, forwards. And in about three traffic lights time, he's going to... Ah, okay, guys, he, he went left there. Uh, so, book straight forwards. He's going to pass in front of you in... Stop, stop, stop. He's just behind you now. Uh, guys, turn left. I see him. You see him, good man. Paul and Yuns turn left at the end of the road. Left. Yep. Okay. And then... Keep going forwards, and then it's the next major right. So right there. Oops. There it is. Sorry, as you uh, said, that I was actually on it. So look, he's, <laughs> he, he he turned left there instead of right, but I'm afraid. Oh. Where to? Okay, turn left and straight forwards, and you are one road off, but he's got to come towards you in a moment. Or has he? Oh, he's done something fancy. He seems to have gone off-road. Okay, no worries. Uh, Yuns, not this intersection. The next one, take a right. Yeah. Paul, keep going straight. Buck, take the next major right. Paul, keep going straight. Uh, Yuns, at the end of the road, turn left. Uh, Buck, out that fork, follow the sort of... Yep, that way, and then turn left. Paul, keep going straight. Uh, there is a 90 degree left turn there, Yuns. And then you're on the same road as him. Uh, Shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, got it, okay, got it. Paul, slow down. And stop. Stop, stop, stop. He's on your left. You're at the same intersection now. He's just gone past. Yes, you got him? Yep. Good. Uh, Yuns, go straight forwards. Uh, but, let's see. You can head north, that's where I want you to go. Let's see, how do I direct? I think I've took some tyres out. Uh, if you follow, follow that road, okay. good man. Uh, both, to, uh, both turn right. Shit, I crashed it, but I think he's in trouble. <sighs> okay, he does look like he's slowed down a lot. Okay, Yun, straight ahead, he's going to pass in front of you. He's passing in front of you now. I've you lost eyesight him. on him. Uh, Buck, if you can come off the highway somewhere along there. I have Dude, a white I car. To go. go left or go right? Uh, left. Am I following someone? And then round to the right. Uh, I'm following the white car, a sports car. Uh, Paul and Yuns, uh, you're... I don't know who you're following, I'm afraid it's not Lawrence. Uh, okay. Follow that road forward. I, so, I screamed at you, I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> Uh, Buck, can you uh, turn turn around and go back the other way, please? Right, which direction should I be going? Paul, turn left. Right. right, we want to get him before he gets another car, is the thing. 
Yep, Yun's turn right. Yun's, you are heading straight mm -hmm. towards him. He is heading straight towards you. He is on the other side of the road. Am I going in the wrong, the right you, direction? You just encountered him. Uh, book, keep yes. going straight. Saw him. Hard or 80. Got him. He's tanked himself. Excellent. Uh, book, keep going straight down that road. Paul, uh, take the next right. I'm firing at him. Good man. He has turned right there. So, uh, Paul, turn left, then immediately right. Uh, book, keep going straight. Oh, shoot. And now turn left. So I'm giving instructions possibly a second too late there. Too early there. Uh, uh, sorry, yes. That, <laughs> uh, so, Buck, take the next right. Paul, keep going straight down. He's heading up towards you. Yuns, take the next major left. Paul, he is going to pass you in three, two, one, and he's just turned. Yes, you're behind him. Sorry. Um, Yuns, turn right. No, right. Yep, sorry, uh, book, turn 180. I took, uh, I've forward, took out forward, both his right hand side tyres. <laughs> and left Bye. Sorry, left, uh, left. I hope you enjoyed that insight into the minds of the hunters. We're definitely going to keep making these, so I hope you'll join us next time. Thanks for watching.